Hello everyone, my name is Jacques of Chanel. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Grid Search CV inside Kit and Learn. So Grid Search CV is used to test different hyperparameter values and find the one for your model. So whatever model that you have, machine learning model that you try to train, you often use need to define the parameters that you're going to use. So for example, in supervised learning, if you do a classification with K nearest neighbor, you need to define the number of neighbors in order to train your data set. And the different, depending on the number of neighbors that you select, you will have different accuracy score. So how this works essentially is that uh, whenever you uh, do a machine learning workflow, you will uh, split your uh, data into training and testing set, and you will compare your testing results with the actual results. Uh, with Grid Search CV, you have an extra step, and is you take your training set and you get a holdout validation uh, validation section from it that you will use in order to find your best uh, parameters. So Grid Search CV will split the training data into k equal parts, which are folds, which is what we mean when we say k folds. And each fold is used as a validation set, and the remaining information is used uh, in the training data set. So essentially, what it does in the cross validation is that you have uh, you will split your data, and you will split it. If you use fivefold, for example, you will uh, split it in fivefold, and you will train your data by taking the first fold in the validation set and get a metric out of it, so accuracy score, for example, and then the rest is all training data. And then you will do it again, but this time you will use the second fold uh, for your uh, uh, validation set, and then you will get a metric, and then you will compute all those metrics, and you will find uh, whatever uh, metric is the best parameter. So for example, if we do K and N, we have the number of neighbors here and then the number of folds. So the first fold is, uh, we can see uh, the accuracy score here is higher when you use three neighbors. And when we look at the mean accuracy of all of that, we figure out, yeah, N neighbors is indeed the best parameter we should use for um, in this case. So essentially, that's what uh, Grid Search CV tries to do. I will make an example on the breast cancer data set. So I've lo I'm loading this data for you. And uh, the breast cancer data set, essentially what it has is a number of features. And all of these, these features can be used to predict the target. And if we look down below here, uh, we see that the target is whether a, can a breast cancer is malignant, or is benign. So in our case, we're trying to predict malignant cancer or benign cancer. First step is we need to have our data as arrays. Uh, Scikit-learn wants us to provide arrays to the model. And I won't dive too much into train test split. I have a tutorial specifically on train test split. But essentially, what we try to do here is this step where we split training and testing data, and we will generate this. So I don't spend too much time on this, but essentially I will have this training data. So I'm splitting the original data set. I'm taking 30% to keep for validation, uh, to test the accuracy later on. Now let's dive into the real, uh, the real objective of this this tutorial is how to use grid search cv so in order to use grid search cv we import from scalar and model selection we import grid search cv and in this case we are going to do a classification with knars neighbor i also have a, tier, uh, a tutorial of knn um, if you want to look into it uh, just follow my tutorials uh, so what we do is we do knn and then we instantiate the K neighbors classifier. So that's generally what we start to do. Uh, but this time, instead of saying N neighbors equals 
a certain number like what we would do generally we would just define the number of neighbors in this case we don't know which one we want to do so what we're going to do is we're going to put a parent grid and we will set up a dictionary and that's where we're going to define the end neighbors and for the end neighbors we're going to make it list and we're going to say three five seven Nine. So in this case, I'm going to ask the model to uh, the grid search CV to try these four parameters and tell me which is the best one. So I have KNN CV equal, and then I do grid search CV, and that's how you use it. And the first uh, argument that you're going to provide is the KNN model uh, that we have. The second argument that we're going to provide is the param grid. That we just given and we can put cv five fold cv so we're going to do five folds like uh, i've shown you in this screenshot i'm going to do five fold uh, we can increase that but in this case we'll limit ourselves and the scoring that we'll use is the accuracy score there are plenty of other metrics that we can use for example we could use the f1 score or other uh, metrics like this but we're going to focus on accuracy score for now so we can run this and then what we do is we use this knn cv so instead of using knn to train we fit with x the training data with x and y so we don't use the testing data because we keep that for later uh, estimating and now we have trained the model that's what the fit method does and from here we do canon that's uh, canon cv we use that fitted model and we find the best params and we will also print canon cv best score and we are going to limit this to two the two value after the uh, no, i'm just gonna print this best score. So here I can see that the out of these uh, four neighbors that I've given, it has selected uh, n neighbor equal five, and the best accuracy score is 91% in this case, using the best score. If you want to evaluate that best model, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the best KNN model, and you'd say KNN CV. And the way to do this is you use the best estimator R attribute, which essentially is the model that performs the best. And you use this uh, to predict Y. So you do best KNN. So that's your new model that you want to use for prediction. And you use X test to predict. So essentially, we will predict Y using the best predictor. And then we look at the test accuracy equal uh, best KNN dot score. And we, to, to evaluate the core score, we do X test, Y test. And then we print that test accuracy. And that's how we show. Um, we use that best estimator and then we test the accuracy with this and then we end up with almost 96% of test accuracy. So grid search CV is very cool, but what is not cool about grid search CV is almost everything else is that it doesn't scale very much. I'm not going into that, uh, that code at all, but what I wanna show you is if I take this, and I increase the number of hyperparameter, I can show that if I'm doing three folds and I'm using three hyperparameters, it's still manageable. So I need to fit uh, quite a low amount of time. Because remember our code, what it did is essentially is it looped through each of these parameters and it fitted a model for each of the parameter. So that every time it does some computing, it costs money, and that can become quite slow and expensive 
when you look at this chart, you can see that when you get at five power and the number of fits, uh, if you have a, a three four fold or ten fold uh, CV and you have six hyperparameter or even seven, with only seven hyperparameter, you end up with almost a million fits required just to do the tenfold here. So that grows very quickly. It's not very scalable. And in order to uh, work with this is we are going to work with randomized search CV instead. Um, and this is just an introduction, but essentially what randomized search CV does is that instead of running everything, it will take random hyperparameters and run them. Uh, so if we take that parent grid, we used to have uh, a four value here, and now I'm I'm providing 49 values. So this is a lot more than just that seven parameters. How randomized uh, search will do is essentially uh, it will do the same thing as what we did. So the process is very similar and you just use randomized search CV instead of cross-validation CV. And you provide a few parameters here. Uh, again, you provide KNN, you provide param grid, like we just did. Now we will say, okay, limit yourself to only 10 iteration. And then we say cross validation five and then scoring equal accuracy again. And we will provide a random state of 42 for reproducibility. Uh, so we run this. And essentially, we can do all the steps that we just did. We do them again. And we can see that uh, it went quite fast. It didn't have to perform a million randomized search, uh, just 10 in this case. And the best parameters was 14 end neighbors, which we didn't provide earlier. We, we gave four values and 14 wasn't part of those. And in this case, it it gave me the best end neighbor was 14, the accuracy was 91, and the test set accuracy was 96. So that's it. This is how uh, Grid Search CV works in Scikit-Learn. And help me by subscribing to this channel or visit my blog at jcschwinar.com. See you next time.